So here we are in this lovely backyard garden and I'm here to describe to you the Bounty Garden Tea Brew Kit. It's everything that you need to start brewing Bounty and have a great garden. We have in here the Bounty Bioactivator, Marine Mineral Magic, or we call it M3. This is your diffuser unit and air pump. You get a strainer bag and three bags of Alaskan humus soil. Two, three, and your gardening pail. So once you have all of your contents out of the container, you can start putting your brew kit together. You wanna make sure that you have water and electricity because we're gonna be filling this with water and plugging in the air pump. The first thing to do is attach this strainer bag. You can brew with the strainer or not. It depends on if you're soil drenching or foliar spraying or compost tea. If you want to strain out the sediment, this is the way to do it. It has an elastic thing at the top. Just attach it like that. So this is our new diffuser. This is a special plastic diffuser bulb and it allows no back pressure. It's very easy to clean. You can just unscrew it and it easily clips on to the side of the bucket. Hear that click, then you know it's in. And then we're ready to fill this with water. So once you have everything ready to go, it's important to think about this is a 24 hour brew process. So you wanna pick the time in which you start because you'll be applying the tea 24 hours from now. So you wanna have ample time, so make sure you plan that into your day. So we have our electricity and our water here. I'm going to start filling the brewer with water. So when considering water, it's important to use as pure water as you can. These microbes need to live in the most pure environment. So we have a Bounty water enhancement and filtration system called Bounty Hydrate that will purify and enhance your water. So this is a very affordable, very easy to use and set up kit. And especially with the Alaska humus soil as the base of the soil, this is an incredible startup for compost tea. What you want with compost tea is that the water should be a rolling boil and you can see the water is coming up here. I've got my dissolved oxygen meter here, HANA instrument, and this is telling me how much oxygen is in the water here and what temperature it is. So we're looking at about 67 degrees and it's about 10 dissolved oxygen. So that's a great reading. 10 milligrams per liter is a great sign that there's enough oxygen in here that will support all of the aerobic bacteria that's going to be brewing in here. So now we're ready to go and we're going to be pouring in our ingredients. All you need to start brewing is two quarts of Alaskan humus oil and one cup of Bounty Bioactivator for a four gallon Bounty brew. So the Alaskan humus oil and the Bounty Bioactivator are the heart of our system. That's what the Bounty is. You brew with these two every time that you brew a tea. Now, depending on where you are with your plants and the season, we have a variety of different products to as soil amendment additives. So I'll start with the root web. This is mycorrhiza, endomycorrhiza and ectomycorrhiza, 21 different species and this stimulates the root systems of your plants. The Marine Mineral Magic is high in nitrogen and it's great for the vegetative stage of your plants, great for leafy greens, brassicas. The Bounty Better Bloom is higher in potassium and phosphorus, so it's great during the flowering and fruiting stage of your plants because they need more potassium and phosphorus to set those flowers and build heavy fruits. Now we've already started our brew with the Alaskan Humus Soil and the Bounty Bioactivator. So these are things that you would add after the 24 hour brew process to enhance the tea before application. Now you can brew longer, 24 hours to 72 hours, depending on um, if you wanna go for a bacterial dominated compost tea or a fungally dominated compost tea. Typically when you brew for shorter times and higher temperatures, you're selecting for the bacteria. Um, and the bioactivator is great for a bacterial dominated tea. Producing a fungally dominated tea, you want to use the fungal activator. A great way to use the fungal activator is to pre-treat the Alaskan humus soil with the fungal activator for one to three days until you see the growing of a mycelial mat. 
um, which shows you that that fungi is active and ready to go. And then you start your brewing process for 24 hours. So over the last 24 hours of this brewing process, the microbes in the Alaskan humus soil have gotten to outrageous numbers. There's an incredible diversity of beneficial bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and nematodes in this Alaskan humus soil that's unique to the Alaskan tundra. We're ready to add our fertilizer. I've chosen Marine Mineral Magic, our specialty fertilizer. We're gonna be applying to brassicas and kale plants. So this is a great choice for fertilizer. So we have our measuring cup out here, got one cup, and I'm just gonna add it right to the brew. It smells so sweet. Just stir it in. You can use any kind of stir tool. I just grabbed a stick from the garden. And now we're gonna wait about 30 minutes to allow that Marine Mineral Magic to be dissolved in solution. So here we are, we have finished our brew process. We've unplugged our electricity. Now I'm going to remove the diffuser head from the brewer, set that aside. So this is our soil drench applicator watering can. The ratios are two cups per one gallon of water. So this is a one gallon watering can with my one cup measurement and I'm putting two cups per gallon, and that makes an eight to one ratio. One part bounty to eight parts water. You can go more concentrated than that. You can actually apply the bounty without diluting it at all. Water is just a carrier for the bounty, so the more you dilute it with the water, the more coverage it gets and the more you get for your money, but bounty will not harm your plants, so you can apply it directly without diluting it onto your plants and water in afterwards. Um, now we would take this watering can and just apply it to the plants over here. Um, another way to do it is with foliar spray. The dilution for foliar spray is 10 to 1. You want it a little bit lighter for spraying it directly on the leaves. So this is our 5 gallon sprayer and we've added 1 part bounty and 10 parts water. So now we're ready to go and apply our gallon to the garden. Um, it's helpful to have another bucket around. So um, when you are using the foliar spray, you wanna strain your tea. So it's important to um, have a place for this to go once you pull it out. And you can see all of our medium is still in here. And this is something you can use to um, add to your garden as well. You can take this mark is what we call it, um, and add this to your garden spread around because there's still a lot of great nutrients, minerals, and microbes in here. Um, so it's just helpful to have another place to put it. Um, so this is our strain tea that we will use in our five gallon sprayer. You don't want to um, clog any of your spray emitters with um, unstrained tea. So it's important to strain it before you put it into a sprayer, a one gallon or a five gallon, or if it's going through an irrigation system, you wanna strain your tea. So all of our brewing applications, brewing quantities, and charts can be found in our catalog. Page 11 is where you find our brewing quantities and our coverage. So just refer to the catalog that comes in the kit if you have any questions about application or usage.